<sighs> What's happening y'all? Victor of HVAC here. So today I'm gonna have a video on what I carry on my everyday bag, my service bag. This is a Klein tool backpack. Holds everything that I need. I do keep a couple bags on my truck. Some stuff you don't need every day. If I have to, I'll go back and get it I'm out of my truck. We all know you can show up to a service call with a light bulb, piece of wire, and an 11 one. That ought to do the trick. But I'm gonna show you what it takes to show up to a house, look professional, show up, show out, so you can get the neighbor, the sister, the mom, the brother, so forth. Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, I know you noticed this cup. Uh, this is my coffee cup, bourbon cup when I get home, whatever the case may be. But I figured I'll show you guys this first because I know you might have seen it uh, from the jump. But it's got a magnet on the back. So when we got a condenser, you can fill this puppy up with as much coffee or whatever you want in there. And this magnet is super strong. It's an earth magnet. So... Uh, it won't go anywhere. First of all, what I carry in my pockets is uh, this is going to be attached to my belt. It's a flashlight made by Klein. Very nice flashlight. It's got the flashlight at the end and then a flashlight on the side here. I press the button twice. This also is a magnet. Helps out when you're working inside of an air handler. You can turn that second light on put it inside the air handler cabinet and it illuminates the wiring and all that good stuff also I don't leave home without it a pocket knife uh, when I'm at work I keep this Klein tools pocket knife keeps a good edge on it it's no longer a weapon it's a tool because it's Klein tools this is a Klein tools backpack uh, this this is a pretty pretty big size backpack I want to say it's a tradesman model it's got the clip on the side for my drill a little hook on the bottom here for a tape and all that good stuff uh, we'll start with the bottom pocket here and down in this bottom pocket I keep pretty much miscellaneous stuff uh, some a jumper for when I don't have power available I can jump off the unit uh, backup locking cap key because you never know you might lose the key you have uh, got a temperature temperature probe here for my meter in case I need it and uh, those pesky float switches to get the water out of those float switches I keep this little squeegee whatever you want to call this thing and uh, you get inside that float switch squeeze it get the water out squirt it in the drain and so forth just a little handy tool okay so up in this top bag and I apologize guys for the wind I may end up having to record this again but uh, in this top pocket here, I keep some things in here that are handy. My low loss shredder tool. Use this a lot for evacuations. Uh, a little tool that has a quarter inch and a five sixteenths on the end. It's a ratcheting tool. This gets up in there. If uh, some Joe Smo slapped the condenser up against the wall and you can't get up in there with your drill or your screwdriver, this will get up in there and get whatever you need off there so this is definitely a lifesaver notate this one uh, keep my locking key in here in my top pocket it's got 410a and 22 keep my little screwdriver here so i don't lose it it's a sweet little screwdriver made by klein and uh, it's got the flat head the phillips head bit at the end and it spins so this is perfect for doing a thermostat you can put pressure on the back and spin it i love this little screwdriver here i keep a couple of attachments in there really just a drill bit you know it's got the malco 5 16 quarter inch gets it done and uh, keep both the, the shorter and the longer one in there got a mini split mini split attachment here in case i roll up on a mini split uh, I can check the refrigerant and I like to keep spares of pretty much everything so you might see that I have double or something in here but it's just for a good cause but we're gonna get down in this backpack here 
you can see I got a lot going on. I do like to make one trip and uh, the crows are applauding me here for that. But as you can see, I keep screwdrivers in the back, a simple Phillips head screwdriver, simple flathead screwdriver. Uh, I deal with a lot of breakers and stuff like that. So I do keep this electrician's tool in here, a bigger flathead in here. Uh, this is also, as you can see, this is my hammer or my knockout tool, as you would say. I've got a 5 16 hand tool in there, some pressure wrenches in the back, keep a couple of those. Uh, I've got an inspection mirror. This one here is pretty beat up and old, but it still does the trick. Uh, and then also, uh, what I found, this is going to be a very handy tool. You have those uh, valves now that uh, are either a shallow valve, so you're only catching, and you can see the markings on this one here, you're only catching a little nub of this tool to open up that service valve. So this one here will get down in there. You can put it this way, undo it, get more leverage on that, or you can even put it down on the ball end and uh, use it to spin to open up that valve, or at least crack it open to get it started so you can finish it with your ratcheting tool. As you can see, I keep a couple of those. You never know. On the side here, I've got my Klein temperature probes. I keep two of those, one for the supply, one for the return. I have extras of these. You lose them sometimes, but I try to uh, maintain my tools without losing them because I do buy quality tools. Um, I've got my Klein. Uh, I got my Klein uh, wire strippers here. These are pretty nice wire strippers. Uh, I've been using the blue pair for years and years, but these are pretty sharp. I like these. They got a good grip on them. So definitely uh, get a quality wire stripper, but some things you can get away with, with a cheaper tool. As you can see here, this is probably from Harbor Freight or something. This is just a level, quick little level check in case I need it. Check the level of the condenser, check the level of the thermostat, stuff like that when I'm installing it. Uh, back here we've got some needle nose, some long needle nose made by Klein. Uh, very nice needle nose pliers. Right next to it, I've got some snips, some pretty heavy duty snips. Made by Klein as well. Uh, so, I've also got some Klein dikes I keep down here. As we all know, these turn into a hammer as well. You get that knockout but they also serve their purpose if you're cutting something, uh, flex duck, whatever the case may be. Okay, so now we're getting into the, the depth of the bag here. And I like to keep a couple pairs of gloves. Uh, these are my favorite gloves, very comfortable, made by Klein. Uh, I do wear these for tech stuff, really if I'm, you know, if I'm cleaning a drain line, something like that, where I don't wanna get my hands too dirty. I throw those on. A headlamp. Nothing too crazy. Simple AAA battery headlamp here. It's got a couple settings. Infrared. Of course a tape measure. I use my tape measure a lot. You guys have probably seen this in my videos. The chromed out tape measure. Uh, I keep a flashlight here made by Dewalt uh, this here so I can get up if I'm up in an attic something like that if I need a spotlight or need the mobile home uh, this is my go-to so keep another pair of gloves these are gonna be more or less uh, if I'm moving a condenser something like that these are a lot more heftier so I don't cut my hands or you know I really don't care about these gloves too much so if I'm doing something funky I'll put these on Keep a brush in here. It's a mastic brush for that pookie, but I actually use this for brushing out a cabinet. Uh, when I open up that condenser, you whip a little brush out before you touch anything and 
brush it out, brush the wires down, all that stuff. It shows that you care a little bit more, and ultimately I do. So down here at the bottom, I've got a couple Dewalt uh, cases. And uh, I've got just miscellaneous bits in there. You never know what you're going to need. Last thing you want to do is get down off a rooftop or from the fourth floor of an apartment to go find get a drill bit or a uh, bit for your drill. Uh, keep some PVC cutters. Nothing fancy. Get the job done. And here I have my Fluke uh, temp probe for my temp gun. And uh, this is this comes in handy pretty often. And I can show the customer the temperature coming out of the, the vent, or I can check the differential between the air coming inside the condenser coil, passing that coil and coming out the top of that fan. And uh, let's see here, I've got a, my hub puller in here. And honestly, this this stays in the van or in the truck more than anything. I normally don't carry this on me, but I kind of wanted to show you guys. This is very essential. Uh, get you out of a bind. You change that fan motor a lot quicker with something like this. And uh, down here I've got a little stubby. I keep a stubby Phillips and a stubby uh, flathead. And then I've got my hex keys. It's got almost every size on it that I would need. This is a little sidewinder Dewalt makes. And it's pretty neat. You can, you know, bend it down or however you want to. This comes off here. So you can get in a little tighter spaces. But uh, I find myself using this pretty often, so it's not necessary, but it just makes it's one of those tools that just make it nice. On the other side here, it's the last thing I have to show you guys that I keep in my tool bag. I really like this pocket. Uh, Klein put this pocket in the side. I used to use it to keep my testos in. I would put my testo gauges, slide them right in there, and they would hold in there pretty good. But now I use it for my meter, my meter bag. This meter here is made made by Field Piece. This is the HS33 Field Piece meter. This is a very nice overall meter. It's got a ma earth magnet on the end, so you can magnetize it to the unit. Uh, keep some some uh, attachments for it, some clamps. If I have to clamp onto a capacitor, test it or something like that, uh, makes it pretty nice. Got some temperature. A K wire in there, a temperature K wire. Uh, let's see here, I keep my leads in here. I don't like to have my leads all messed up, so I keep them in that, that pocket by themselves. Got my clamp here down in the bottom of this bag. So I can take my amp draws. Also, down here, I keep an extra temp probe. Field piece made that one there. I've had that one for years. And then uh, on the back side, this has a little pocket as well. I just keep extra spare stuff. I got some K wires in there, more K wires in there. So I mean, there's just some spare spare stuff I keep in there. Keeps it nice and secure. Yeah, that's about it, guys. So the backpack itself, sit it sideways so you can see it. It's a pretty hefty sized backpack, but that's what I like. I like to show up, kind of make one trip. If you're going on a rooftop here, you got these buckles so you can throw it on your back it's got some nice padding on the back here and it just makes it pretty comfortable when you're going up a rooftop or heck even walking from your van to the unit this is a very nice setup so glad you guys was able to watch this hope this helps somebody uh, kind of get their tools together and uh, this is really the essentials of what it takes to run a service call and you see there's nothing too crazy in here um, and you can you can get cheaper tools you don't have to necessarily get Klein tools I just like quality tools I know everybody has their preference uh, I've got a good friend of mine who I used to do a lot of work with uh, he also has a YouTube channel y'all go check him out I'm gonna give him a shout out in the, in the description he's a Milwaukee guy he does a lot of tool reviews so if you're into something like this video here, definitely go check him out and uh, we will catch you guys on the next one.